What is a mystery? Well, if you're a regular listener to the Ask RC podcast, then you'll recall that we have already covered this question. What is a contradiction? And this question, what is a paradox? And we suggested that a paradox is an apparent contradiction, which upon further review reveals itself to be not a contradiction. A contradiction is an affirmation of two things, each of which rules out the possibility of the other. That is, to say that this shape is a square and a circle at the same time and in the same relationship is to say that it has zero angles and four angles, that it has no straight lines and four straight lines, that all points are equidistant from the center and all points are different distances from the center. That's a contradiction. Well, what's a mystery? We argued, by the way, that a contradiction, a, a, a paradox might be difficult to understand at first glance, but is understandable afterward. A contradiction is something that's never understandable because it's not possible. A mystery, on the other hand, is something that we don't understand. It's not necessarily something we could not understand. It's simply something that we do not understand. Something wherein if we had more information, we could understand it. Imagine, if you will, that as I'm, I'm speaking, all of a sudden, there's a mystery for you, all of a sudden, appearing in the chair across the room from me is President George Washington, the founder of our and father of our country. And while he's sitting in that chair and he's looking at me and he's wondering why I'm talking into this ball, but I happen to reach over to the wall and I flip a switch and the overhead light turns on. Is he going to understand that? No, that's going to be a mystery to him. He's not going to understand anything about how electricity travels from a uh, electricity generating plant over wires to this house and runs into that spot. And the flipping of the switch brings it all the way up to the uh, light bulb where it hits the uh tungsten filament, which then begins to glow and excited electrons and all sorts of stuff that are a complete mystery to me as well. He's not going to understand it. And if I said to him, Mr. President, that light is not a light, he wouldn't understand that either. But if President Washington were to spend, uh, you know, year after year after year after year after year studying up on what we know about electricity and how light bulbs work, it would grow increasingly less mysterious to him. But if he set his mind to the question of can a light be a light and not a light at the same time in the same relationship, he will never make any progress because progress is not possible. It's important, friends, for us to understand the distinctions among these three things, paradox, contradiction, mystery, especially these last two, contradiction and mystery. They have in common that we do not currently understand them. They have this distinction. Contradictions are not understandable because they are nonsensical and non-possible. Mysteries, on the other hand, are at least hypothetically understandable. When we say of uh, God that he is three persons in one essence, there's nothing contradictory there at all. If we said he was three persons and at the same time only one person, or he was one essence and at the same time he was three essences, those would be contradictions. If you ask me to explain how a being could be one person, excuse me, three persons in one essence, I'm going to be happy to admit, hey, it's a, it's a mystery. I don't know. How can Jesus be the God-man? I don't know. 
But I do know this. There's a fundamental difference between saying, I don't know, and framing anything in a way that it's actually a contradiction. You need to be able to tell them apart because contradiction is the hallmark of falsehood. And mystery is what calls us to humility. Humility.